Ow! And look at that. Holy crap. It melted. We had a medical procedure. Hello and welcome back to Too Many Products Garage. I've got a jam-packed video for you today. We're going to be working on a uh, the Miata, um, replacing the suspension in the Miata, as well as uh, working on a Honda Civic, replacing some wheel bearings. And I'm going to be driving a car back from McAllister to Tulsa, uh, and it has like 10-year-old tires on it. So let's see if we make it. Stay tuned. Hey guys, we're driving down to McAllister right now. And uh, as you can hear, the wheel bearings are very bad in this vehicle. It's very loud in here because of it. So I'm excited to see what it sounds like or feels like when the bearings are good to go. Eight hours later. So we're driving the Miata, and anytime you hit a bump, the car like shimmies a lot <laughs> on the highway. It's pretty scary, but. Uh, that's why we're fixing the suspension. Here she comes. Ooh. Nice. You should push on that back corner so we can see how bouncy it is. Here, let's shut this door. Ooh, this is the bad side. It was just bouncing on the highway, apparently. What are we hearing? Oh, yeah, it's still going up and down. <laughs> yep, this side's much better. No. <laughs> Hold on, let it, let it bounce for a second. It's better, but not by much. It was terrible. It's still terrible, yes. All right, well, we're excited to make that better. I think the fronts actually aren't too bad. Like, you can go ahead and do those. We're changing them anyway. We're going to change them anyways because, you know. Uh, I can hear it. Didn't but it's, yeah, it, these actually function, but why not have new, right? All right, cool. And then we're going to replace the uh, cable that goes to the hood latch because. We have a hood behind us. We need to put it on. We need to put the hood on It's because it's bad. Here's the, here's the part. Here's the pile of parts. For today. For today. And then we've got. The Honda, which needs desperately needs new wheel bearings, so we're excited to replace those as well. We've got the nice press, and it's on wheels, which makes it even more convenient. All right, we got it up in the air, and we're about to take the wheels off. The Civic is just about up in the air as well. Like NASCAR. That are slow. And without the money. And with less money. Oh yeah. Oh. Alright, we got them all off. Let me make sure the lug nuts didn't run off on me. That one go. <laughs> it's very wet on top of that strut. Strut be bad. All right, time to see what we bought. <laughs> we got the top of the struts. That's for the front, though, right? The shift oh, the shift. Isolator. Oh, shift isolator. Because this is not connected. Oh yeah, let's. <laughs> I'll show you guys that. That's pretty rough. You can see the ground through the shifter so that's you and you can definitely hear it so yeah we're excited to replace that all right what else the, unboxing the top hats i think yes the tops of the struts that's for the fronts though right uh, it's all of them. oh the view the rears okay cool oh nice very nice uh that's the hood cable yes you can see that's sticking out the side there <laughs> That's uh, a valve cover gasket. Ooh, yeah. Whenever we get the timing. Belt. Yeah. What is this? Tie rods. Front. And ball joints. Cool. 
And then last but not least, the piece de resistance. The best thing, the thing we need the most. Maybe the cheapest struts on eBay. Is there only uh, three? <laughs> uh, I think hopefully there's two in one box. That's a good question. Interesting. I haven't opened this yet. Here's one. Let's hope we, we have two rear ones. Open two. That was very violent sounding. Rear. Is this the rear as well? Or is this the front? That's the front. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it is the rear. rear. The front should be teeny tiny. Oh, the fronts are tiny. Okay. Well, maybe they're both in that one then. They are. Ah, they're there just kind of put in. Okay, cool. Very nice. Sweet. Gold touring. Ooh, Ooh, gold. Sounds extravagant. It says main job. Oh, that's kind of. We hear some struggling coming from over there. <laughs> what is this? I'll have to go help in a second. Oh, there's nothing in the little box. That's just packing. It's just packing material. Oh. Oh. Well, cool. All right. Well, time to start disassemblage. Okay. We were having trouble getting this wheel off, so I'm a big dude, and I'm gonna hit it as hard as I can, and hopefully I don't hurt myself. Bang! It's on there. Ow! Oh! Oh! No boards and sledgehammer. That's yeah. Oh god! I don't know if I can swing that. I am. I am too nervous to do that. I'll do it. All right. Here, hold. Somebody hold. I don't know that I want to hold it. All right. You gotta hold it like this, you know? Ah! Ah! Hey. Boom, baby! There we go. That's a technique, not my foot. <laughs> that was painful. Sounds pretty bad. Let's compare to the other side. Ooh! Ooh. It's like twice as loud. Well, I'm glad That's we're replacing these. Bad. Yep, not the brake pads, for sure. Now the brakes actually look really good. Well, that took nothing. It's, it's spinning, spinning now. Can we hold it or you got it? Uh, I got it for now. Right. Come back. The tap and pull method. Jack and pull. Sounds interesting. <laughs> That's true, there might be some tension on there. The good old Jack and pull. Well, you could probably turn. You're probably gonna have to like loosen it. No, I feel like we can just keep doing what I'm doing because it was working. I just didn't want it to like. Spin oh, okay. Just smack on it with the. Just tap, tap. Almost. Almost. There we go. Yoink. Definitely sprung, sprung. Sprung. Cool. Right, let's go down, see if it. Yeah. Tips out. So, what's next to, uh, on the agenda? Do the top. All right, cool. Or we can do this on the other side, I guess, really. Yep. We won't bore you guys with that part. It's a long screw. I don't think it's the one supposed to be in there either. No, I'm pretty sure we put something different in there. I think it's an old pulsar bolt. Yep. All right, we got access to the strut thingies, bolts and stuff back there. Whatever size they were. I don't remember. I think they were tens. We got back there too. Oh, it's much easier when these weren't in the way. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, we might have to take those out. I don't think so. What size were these? Those like a 12 maybe? maybe well, they were either 10? a 10 or 12. It's not a 10. Not a 10? It's hard to say. We need light. Let's get a light. Oh yeah, that's definitely 12s for sure. 
Yeah, I got a light. Need a light? You want to do this uh, the right side first, or? Okay. Just because it's easier to access? Uh, I think it's a 14. It's 14. Is it? Oh, yeah. damn. Well, my bad. <laughs> There we go. Is she wiggly? Kinda. Oh, we need to take this bottom bolt out, I think. Yep. To get to it. Which is... A big one. 17, maybe? A big bolt. All right, about to Ooh, take about it to off. About to break the ratchet. Keep... About to break the ratchet. Oh. Hey, you got it. Nice. Those Accento ratchets, man, they're great. Thanks, Harbor Freight. Oh, I've never had one break on us. Now that it's loose, let me just do this. Work smarter. Well, that was easy. Nice. Oh, now I need to pry that out of there. Nope. <laughs> need pry bar. Claw hammer. Claw hammer bar. Oh. Well, there you go. That did it. Uh, now, how will we get out? Yep. Nope. That's loose at the top. It's the bottom. It's. Oh, hey, like, okay, let me stand on it while you pull out. Or I can do the opposite. <laughs> you might have to do standing. You record. Record. Are oh, you just going to do it all? Yeah, why not? Cool. Oh yeah. Sometimes you just need more gravity. Boom, baby. I'm a big boy. Out with it's the old. It's free. Ah, no, I'm joking. I need part of it. No. We need the spring. <laughs> <laughs> ah, gross. Ooh, sounds rough. Do it again. Ugh. Desperate need of replacing. I'm excited to see what it is like afterwards. We got them both out. Now time to disassemble these and put the other ones together. Putting on spring compressor. Ooh, I'm trying. We hate the spring compressors. <laughs> They're evil. At least all the ones you rent from AutoZone. I don't think I've ever had a good one or like an easy one. Oh, from Harbor Freight was pretty okay. One Until it destroyed itself whenever I tried to put it on a different vehicle. <gasps> Uh, very much so. We got it out, so had to use a little bit of PB blaster. The baby can. And uh, we got to hold it with the Nipex. Got the spring out. Now let's uh, put that spring on new. Called the bellows. Strut. <laughs> the old strut. Oh God. Each one. Of so much for rain. bellows. Yeah. It's like Sonic, you know. There you go. So it's almost a pattern. Except for it's black. Exciting. I still lost them all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. Putting the top piece on. If we Spring is not compressed enough. Ah, uh, dang. Shoot. We got the top hat on. Now we're doing the spring compressor loosening. And it's a pain in the ass. Ooh. Is it rubbing on the dust shield at all? Or? No, that's just wheel bearing. Ooh. Dust. That's really that bad. is rough. Oh, wow. Hmm. I'm glad we're replacing these. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, there's play in there. Let me get oh, that play on video. Cry. Oh yeah. It's really bad when you're turning. That's when you really hear it. <laughs> oh. Should not sound like that. I wonder what they're gonna look like inside. We gotta disassemble them. Cut Press them apart. Or cut it apart, yeah. Yeah. Well, Interesting. The hard part is completed. Taking it apart. Check it out. We got one new strut on there and then one old strut to the left as a comparison. We even cleaned up the spring a little. Much better. Get one bolt in. You want to step on it? Here, hold this and I'll you can use one hand. I use my brute force manliness. A little more, more manliness. There we go. Up. Stand there. Cool. 
I think I was watching the car too much instead of the camera, but maybe you can see something. All right. See if she's lined up. Uh, let's see. That one, the front one's lined up. You might have to twist it for the rear. There you go. You got don't it. Don't drop my nuts. Yeah, I, don't, I don't plan on dropping nuts. Can you just do it? No, I got it this time. <laughs> one nut on. Ooh. Yes, it's coming out. Yay. Oh. I held your socket so I didn't drop it. Bad bearing removed. Trunk is completed. Are we just putting the nuts in there for the struts? Well, actually, we still need to put the little cover on, but that's fine. Now we need to tighten all the boots. 17. Oh, it's a 19. Where's the 17? Maybe it's on, maybe it's right here. Uh, maybe too. It's so gross. PB blaster. Grody. Nice. I've already got the other side, the top one, kind of screwed Sorry. in for the top one, but I had to use the jack to line it up. See if I can do it without. I'm not going to be able to. Maybe you can. No. Uh, no. Ooh. <laughs> no. Jack time. Get out of the way, PB Laster. Okay. Mm -hmm. right, good. And she's lined up. I think I did it the opposite way on the other side, but oh, hey, whatever. This is how it, it came off the car. Oh, I guess it doesn't really. It doesn't really matter to be honest, but. Time to toyton. That's the torque spec. Yep, torque spec is impacted. <laughs> other side time. Did I put it backwards or did I actually do it right? Let's find out. <laughs> but it's lined up though. It's right. fine. I don't think it actually truly matters, to be honest. Probably not. Alright. Alright, this they're done. Time for wheel. Wheelie time. Well I mean not wheelies, but <laughs> wheel <Maybe>. times. <laughs> and then we can take it for a drive. We don't want to tighten them too tight. That on the lowest setting. Gentle. Oh, these are inky wheels. I didn't realize. Cool. They made the factory wheels. Neato. We had Neato tires, huh? <laughs> Neato. Rear suspension. Complete. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try it out in the rear. Seems like it works. It's pretty amazing, the difference. squeamish when it comes to crazy driving.
on the race car driver. Rally car driver. Shift knob off. Lubrication. Applied. Um, yeah, that'll help. Is that backwards? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh man, was that like... It's, that's not even the pattern. There's yeah. loads of dirt dauber nest down in there. Get on there. Come on. You can Come do on. it. Come on. Uh, it sounded Come promising. On. How low should we go? Pretty low? Uh, it should be level, pretty much. Let's see, where are we at now? A little bit lower? A little lower. Yeah. Just a touch. Uh, I think that's looking pretty okay right there. Yeah, it's good. Oh, yeah. Now we need uh, to put bolts in. Butte. Which I got right here. Much improved. Let's vacuum real quick. We should do that. So we went to try to vacuum and we found out <laughs> it melted very rough Oof. so guess no vacuum then this is gonna make it so much quieter in here i'm surprised how much noise was gonna do that hole yeah it was a lot you can hear the transmission a lot it's pretty intense maybe that's a bad thing <laughs> that you can hear the transmission maybe the transmission shouldn't make that much noise maybe not i don't know this looks so much nicer though i'm liking it new yeah it's like ooh. I like a new stuff. Two in, two to go. 1986 Nissan Pulsar uh, bolts, screws. Uh, actually, it's 83. True. All right. There we go. One to go. Now we just need to put the whole interior back together. Probably supposed to be washers on that, but. All right, got the wheel bearings out of the Civic. And look at that. Holy crap. Destroyed. This one's not as bad. This one right here. In comparison oh, to that one. Rough. So definitely long overdue for replacement. Alright, we're taking the we're gonna look into replacing this. Somehow. Somehow, yeah. We just got to figure it out. It's going to be fun. We got the cable out. Hooray. Now it's time to put new cable in. Wish us luck on that because it's going to be kind of a pain. Because we got to fish it through this little hole here. This little grommet hole. Get it right down in that there. All right, we used some fish tape through this little hole there. That's where it goes through. And we masking taped it together. Let's hope that actually fits through that hole. We'll find out. Here, I'm gonna try it right now on camera here. All right. There you go. Let's see it give birth. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh. I don't know, man. All right. It's going, yeah. Nope. Oh, it made it part of the way through. Can you see it at all? I can see like the end of the uh, you might be able to push it now. <laughs> you might be able to push it out. Let it pop out like a pimple. Push on the cable, maybe? <laughs> it looks so weird. <laughs> it's alive! No. It's not sticking out enough. Is it sticking out at all? Uh, no. a lie it looks like it's a living coming squishing on it i think you're getting it it's slowly like moving but it's not out let's see if i can get my finger in there to kind of no you're you're doing it you did it right there whatever you're doing something it's the masking tape that's really giving us a uh, tough time if you just keep pushing, I guess, maybe. Ooh. Oh. 
We might be able to grab it now with some, with some pliers or something. Here, I'll let you come look at it. It looks ridiculous. Ugh. All right, this looks like a Miata medical procedure. <laughs> For real. <laughs> oh my For real. gosh. We're like ripping out of like a uh, pair of sliders. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is oh it coming? My, yeah, I just need like to keep pulling. I think you're getting it. Oh, it's going. You're just gonna get it past, <laughs> past the masking tape. Uh, it looks crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Past the masking tape, I think it'll be good. Uh, the final push. Uh. Uh, masking tape, freedom. We did it. <laughs> Going back together. Got it routed. Factory fresh. Enough. Pretty much. <laughs> Enough. Yes. You can put a hood on. We got the hood on. Check it out. And it opens when you pull the thing. Go ahead. You kind of have to do the, you know, lift thing after it doesn't automatically present itself, but it works. Ta-da. Ta so we're going to do some minor body work. This is like bent way out. So we're bending it back in. So that way the bumper right here can mount on and we're going to reattach the bottom piece to here again. And I think it'll be much improved much much improved and then we're going to reattach the bottom of the bumper because it wasn't even attached at all so good stuff much improved new bearings going in oh yeah this one. going in ah oh, look at that beautiful Beautiful. And we're doing some body work. Oop, I kind of got out of. I mean, that's better than it was. Oh, yeah, way Look better. That. It be better, though. Cool. Let's see how it spins. Spinner. I can't. Once you get it up here in a second. Oh. Dead silent. Beautiful. Now we just got to do the other one. Taking a taking some tint off. It's very satisfying. Taking some really shitty old tint off. <laughs> it's not going as nicely as we'd like, but it's still pretty nice. <laughs> Brute force it. So this is quite messed up right here. So we're gonna try and roll the fender just to see if it'll make it look better. Wish us luck on that. We're about to hook it up. You can watch it in action. All right, we're rolling the fender here to make it look a little bit nicer. It's looking a lot better than it was, though, for sure. I wish we had just a before and after picture. Well, I did record it before, okay. so. But it does definitely look way, way, better, way better right there. Not especially good, especially right better. through here. That was like really bad. Use the flat jaw Nipex really to Nipex, make it look we better. Like Nipex. Nipex is better. That's a better. No. I refuse. I don't care if it's right. Exactly. One side done. Check out the difference. So much quieter. Much less wheel, you know, vibration as well. When you turn, it doesn't get louder. It's just oh, so much better. Great success. Check out my buddy Jared's MR2. He's right over there. Sweet, sweet car, man. This broke. He needs to fix that, but you know, it's an MR2 and it's awesome. All right, she's 
about to leave. Well, the head out, I'm gonna stick around another day. Today's Saturday, and I'm gonna drive the white truck home with 12 year old tires. Wish me luck on that. There she goes. Hey guys, that's all for this video. This will be part one of two, as this weekend was jam packed and would be too long otherwise. We decided not to replace the front suspension on the Miata as the existing struts were doing all right. We figure we can do that down the line if we notice more wear on the suspension. So, you know, why replace it if you don't have to yet, you know, make it last, right? Also, I can't tell you how much we laugh when we watch the video back of us pulling that cable through the Miata. We were like crying, laughing. It was so funny. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Also, thank you for commenting, liking, subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time on Too Many Projects Garage.